Guys, I definitely have got to get to the gun store. I've only got one bullet left. It's common for people to watch gun unboxing videos online or to watch videos regarding some of the newer model firearms that are coming out. But I wanted to take just a minute to talk about a firearm that has been on the market for quite some time. And this is going to be my 15 year review of the Taurus PT-92AF. This is a gun that I've had for nearly 15 years and just to show you that we are safe, it is unloaded, nothing in the action. And I want to take a minute to tell you some of the things that I have run into over the years with this firearm. This gun has been very reliable over the years. It has had no problems feeding any type of ammunition that I have put through it. Uh, this gun has been one that I have carried in my vehicle. It has been one that I have concealed carried in uh, certain times of the year. You know, being full frame, it's a little harder to do that. It's just been everywhere. And it does have a few signs of wear on it. I don't know if you can see here. We have a little bit of holster wear showing on the front of it but it has been very reliable. The only issue that I will have to say that I have had with this firearm in the nearly 15 years that I've owned it has been the magazine release. Now back a couple years ago, I actually had the mag release to break. I was out shooting it and when I had, uh, it had what I thought was at first a misfeed, it turned out to be that after the magazine release had broken, the mag dropped down slightly and did not allow a, another cartridge to be chambered into uh, the firearm. That caused a misfeed and then when I, upon further investigation, I noticed that the, uh, you know, the mag release had broken. Of course, it being a Taurus, their lifetime warranty, I simply contacted the manufacturer, uh, took it over to a friend of mine who owns a gun store where I actually had bought it several years ago and he shipped it back to Taurus for me and a few weeks later I had my gun back and they had made the repair. And since that time again it has been 100% reliable. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with Taurus, they actually purchased a manufacturing facility down in Brazil that once made the Beretta M9 and that's why there are so many of the similarities in the looks between the Taurus and the Beretta. Some of the changes that Taurus made to this firearm included moving the safety from the slide down to the frame. And there's some people who prefer it being down on the frame and others who prefer it to be up on the slide. But it's just a matter of personal preferences. The gun overall is a full-size gun, full-size frame, and it's not very heavy for me. Now, some people do consider it to be a heavy firearm. And the magazines that ship with the gun are a 17 round capacity. You can buy others, which I have as well, that are 15 round. There are several aftermarket magazines available, different companies making them, but you can still get the factory mags pretty reasonable. It just depends on the price you wanna pay if you'd rather buy the factory mag or buy one of the newer magazines that are not as high capacity. And just to show you again, we are unloaded. We are being safe. For those of you familiar with the Berettas, as far as the takedown, you will know that uh, the, the Taurus takes down very similarly. Uh, you have this button here that you will press in, and then you will flip the takedown lever just like that, and it will let the slide pull right off of the gun with no problem whatsoever. And that will give you the ability to clean the firearm and any kind of maintenance that you need to do and then of course putting it back together is just as easy you can just put it back on the slide slide the action back slightly flip that down and you're ready to go of course you want to function test it overall this gun is very reliable it is one that there are not a lot of aftermarket accessories available for one of the things that i don't like about it is the fact that you cannot change 
the front sight, this, this sight is actually made into that slide, so it cannot be changed. Uh, there are some people who uh, have changed the rear sights, however, you can see that they are dovetailed in and upgraded those, but the front post cannot be changed. This particular model has a, uh, the safety is also the decocker. If the firearm is cocked, you will then, in order to decock it, just pull down on this lever here, which it is ambidextrous. You can see it on both sides. If you pull that down, it will decock the firearm. Once you have it decocked, you, you know, you have the option of putting it on safe, and with the safety up, you cannot open that action. You can also carry the firearm in traditional cocked and locked. Uh, very similar to that there. Again, this firearm has been reliable over the years. You can see the new magazine release installed by Taurus. This was something that I actually had tried to find aftermarket uh, when I had the issue with this one, but was unable to. The magazine release on this firearm can be reversed. You can see here the factory mag is cut on both sides and it's not a very difficult process. I'm not going to demonstrate it on this video, but you can reverse the mag release for you left-handed shooters out there. The safety and the decocker are also ambidextrous on this firearm. You can see here on both sides of the gun. Now, the slide lock is not. It is only on the left-hand side of the firearm. You can see here a little close-up of some of the wear of this finish on this particular gun. That is mainly holster wear. Again, I've had this for quite some time. It has not been babied. The finish may not be perfect, but the gun is still super reliable. Unlike a lot of the modern firearms where the barrel will tilt down as the action cycles, the Taurus, just like the Beretta, the barrel will stay straight. And you can see there is a significant amount of lock time before that chamber will actually open and allow the spent casing to be ejected and a new one to be chambered into the uh, firearm. But again, that is for accuracy and this gun is a very accurate firearm. Parts between the Beretta and the Taurus are not interchangeable. The magazines are not interchangeable either. Now there are some people out there who think that, a, uh, that the grips will fit on the Taurus and they will not. And one of the reasons is the location of the safety and the decocker. Now, of course the Beretta, it's up here on the slide, these being down here on the frame, that grip would not allow you to have the decocker functioning and plus I do not believe that the screw holes are lined up that well either. But there are manufacturers out there such as Hogue that do make nice grips for these firearms. Uh, there are uh, just different companies that do make a few accessories but again there are not many accessories for these on the market. If someone were to ask me if I would buy this gun again my answer to that question would be yes. This gun has been great. I really enjoy shooting it, and it's just a great gun, a great fun gun to get out on the range. Uh, it's even a good truck gun. You know, like I said, I've carried this in my vehicle. Uh, it's a good bedside gun, and it's just a real solid firearm, in my opinion. Uh, it is one that I would definitely buy again. It is one that I would recommend if you are in the market for a full frame 9mm such as this. Uh, and especially if you like the Beretta look but you do not want to pay the Beretta price, the Taurus 92 may be an option for you. Guys, thanks for watching the video and let me hear from you. Is there any particular guns that you have had for several years that have been just absolutely reliable? Drop those in the comment down below. I'd appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.